UI designs have completely changed. Trends have shifted. Users these days expect a more intuitive interface that can ultimately enhance the user experience. And this has raised the design bar. In such scenarios, if you are still using outdated UI design tactics, you are going to fall behind. So focus on what the users want and what they want to use. So what's going to work when it comes to UI UX designing? I'll show you. In this video, I am breaking down 5 UI design tips that work. Now is the time to start making drastic changes in your design patterns to cater to the new audience. So let's get into it. Tip number 1. Start embracing calm and clean designs and ditch those flashy screens. In 2025, users are exhausted by visual noise. Instead of overloading the screens with excessive text, layouts, gradients and shadows, you must focus on clarity. Use space intentionally. Neutral colors with one bold accent can do more than rainbow palette. Let the layout breathe. Designs that feel calm and clean are getting more traction than ones that are trying to impress with every pixel. Tip number 2 is that you should focus on building designs for thumb reach first. Build for thumb reach first is a mobile UX design principle, but it is also applicable for websites. It basically states that you must design your app or website interfaces in such a way that the most important and frequent actions are within the reach of the user's thumb easily, especially when you are using the phone with one hand. But why this rule matters? Most often we use or hold our phones with one hand and the thumb has a limited reach, especially while using large screen smartphones. If the buttons or interactive elements are placed too high, it leads to poor usability, higher bounce rate and ultimately user frustration. For better understanding, you can divide the mobile screen into basically three important thumb zones. Natural zone. It covers the bottom center and bottom left area of the phone. It is mostly for right-handed people. You can do the same for left-handed people also. Stretch zone, middle to top. And another one is hard to reach zone that will be the top corner of the screen. You can apply this UI design tip to different mobile devices based on their sizes. And finally, for more inclusive user experience and perfect outcomes, you must test each and every layout for left and right thumb use. Now you are clear as to where to apply the rule, but how and for which action will you use it? Now you can use the thumb reach first rule for bottom navigation bars, floating action buttons and swipe gestures. For example, the add to cart button or send or edit or write buttons should be placed within the thumb zone. You must avoid top mounted menus for critical actions. For instance, if you place the hamburger menus or close buttons at the top right corner, it becomes harder to perform the action with the thumb tap. This totally destroys the user experience. Another thing that you should consider is to use bottom sheets or models. Instead of full package takeovers, use bottom up slides for filters and options and etc. It will not just enhance the accessibility but also the overall look of the application. Finally, your UI design should focus on improving the visibility of actions for both hands and not just one. Tip number three is to use fewer fonts and smarter hierarchy. Typography is your silent guide. In 2025, using fewer fonts, even just one, can be the game changer. What matters most is how you use it. Control your hierarchy through the weight, size and spacing, not just by switching fonts and style constantly. Set clear levels, headlines, subheading, body, caption and other things. Then repeat that structure everywhere. 
when the type is consistent users don't have to figure out what you are saying they just have to read it naturally tip number 4 wireframe to think through the process or the user flow not to impress wireframes are where good ui starts you are not adding colors or fonts yet but you are shaping how your design will feel focus on the layout spacing visual balance where do the users look first is the button easy to find are the sections clearly grouped these answer will be solved through a wireframe use simple boxes and text to plan out structure think of it like setting the foundation for a clean modern interface a good ui isn't just about styling it's about the structure and wireframe will let you get that structure right before you add any polish for wireframing the best tool for designers today is figma if you are a new user just sign up and start using the platforms for creating amazing wireframes and perfect your user flow if you want to know more about wireframing and have a better understanding just check out my ui ux design playlist tip number 5 Motion is the new UI glue. Motion is not just about looking good, visual aesthetics of the application or website. It helps users understand what is happening. In 2025, small intentional animations are essential. Think about the button taps, hover effects, loading spinners or screen transitions. These micro movements guide the attention and give feedback to the users. and make their experience feel smooth and simple and comfortable a good motion makes interface feel alive but it should always be fast and subtle and purposeful if you want to learn motion ui here are some tools that will help you to create some of the best transitions and effects first one is figma Figma Start Animate is one of the great tool for prototyping basic transitions and micro interactions. Second one is ProtoPy. Powerful for creating realistic high fidelity UI animations. Another you can check out is Framer. It is ideal for building responsive animated UI with real logic and code like behavior. You can also try After Effects software Loti. Best for exporting vector animations that are lightweight and developer friendly. And the last one I would suggest is Principle. It is excellent for timeline based UI animations and interface for flow testing. So that wraps up the 5 UI design principles or tips that are actually working in today's market. It is no longer about the flashy visuals or tacky designs or transitions it is more about clarity usability and real interaction designs great ui now means building experience that feel effortless and human trends come and go but these fundamentals will keep your work relevant usable and future ready so don't just design to impress but design to make sense and solve real world problems if you want more such videos on ui ux design Stay tuned to Coders Column Design Studio. This is Dolly Solanki signing off.